Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Video True and welcome back to the Outer Worlds, where you join me here back in Fallbrook. And uh, we need to go and have a chat with Catherine today. But first, need to remember dealing with rats, some form of like rat gathering quest. So uh, go on. That sounds like a good way to build some reputation with the locals before we actually meet the boss lady. Here we go. Sublight storage key. So I can get down to. Uh, Wherever these little rats are. Oh, bloody hell. Now that would explain what happened to the rats. Yes. So just charge up a big shot. And then start taking out these guys. Yes, that would make a lot of sense. Right there. So wait for them. And take them out one by one. I see one more around the corner over there. Can I hit the ear? I think I did too. Marvellous. Yeah, nice thing about this gun is there's a tiny bit of splash on it, which is very, very welcome indeed. So, we got ourselves one, some thugs down here, and yeah, the sprats. So, we'll just be picking up all the drugs right there. Pretty sure we know what happened to the sprats then. Right, drugs recovered. Take them back to Watts' face. No need for me to do them myself. And you know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm going to give him the drugs. Everything's going to be fine. Just tell me straight and don't hold back. I can handle it. All your sprats are very dead. Sprats can always be replaced. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, this is per- This is only half! Are you- You think you can steal from me? Okay, I am going to murder you if you don't stop being a dick. Search Fallbrook. Either half the sprats got loose on their own, or there'll be some evidence pointing to the soon-to-be-dead snake who filched my carriers. You want your cut? You get me the rest of my drugs. No matter what it takes. I'm really, really sorry I didn't just steal the drugs. And I do have a quest marker saying Sprat question mark. So, okay. What's... Minnie Malin, get your twitchy whiskers back here. Don't you run out that door. Okay. It's a cruel world outside. Sprats. Do I need to... Oh, do I need to actually kill the Sprats in order to get the drugs back? Is that what we need to do? I suspect that's what we need to do. Okay, so in that case, probably best we use the shotgun. I feel like this might be slightly overkill. No, that was a normal sprats. Okay, just keep checking for more sprats and oh. Close the damn door. You'll let my sprats out. Um. Okay, so why have you got a mega thing here? Damn it all. Now look what you've done. It'll take me ages to round him up again. State your purpose or get out of my face, domicile intruder. This is not where I was expecting my day to go. Missing? Nope. Nope. Mine are all found and accounted for. Thank you kindly. Now if that'll be all. I've got an animal rescue service to oversee, and it ain't easy. Lots to do. Got a multitude of sprats to spay and feed. Okay, so, yeah, these sprats that you stole, drug carriers. Look, I don't care if Nilsson sent you or not. You won't be hurting a hair on any of these sprats' heads. I've killed vicious beasts for them. I ain't afraid to take on a human. Back out of this domicile, hands up, or become sprat food, intruder. Okay, how about we just do this the sensible way? With medicine, I can tell ya, they're gonna pass the drugs, you give me those, you keep the sprats, everything's good. You wanna dig through sprat droppings? Be my guest. Get your drugs, then get lost. Okay, well this is, oh this is lovely. This is just absolutely lovely. I'm so glad that I'm doing this right now. This is great. Right, that's all of the drugs. Great. Pick them out of piles of poo. Love it. He better give me a good amount of money for this. In fact, you know what? I might just punch him in the face anyway. If he makes me do anything else, I swear to flipping God. You do? I mean, you do. Of course you do. What did I tell you? Sure fire delivery system. Works almost every time. And yep, now give me the money. Right, right. In my excitement, I very nearly forgot. <laughs> ha ha. As promised, your cut. Plus a little extra to show my gratitude. 
Now, if there's nothing else you need from me, I must go inventory my goods. Honestly, it didn't lead to yet more work. I've got some XP. I'm happy enough. 375 bits. Really not much, but whatever it'll do. And don't forget, I can actually start boosting my skills. So, okay, what do we need to... Oh, we know what we're doing here. Sneak 100. Sneak attacks ignore 50% of the target's armor. Love it. I will say the gun shop's got some good stuff here. I will pick up a heavy machine gun Mark II, level 25 base. Sooner or later, I'm going to be wanting that. Alright, two buildings left I haven't visited yet. Number one, hang on, no, that's the rat building. There was one place I hadn't been to. Here we go. Insurance agent. Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. I think literally everything that I do is fundamentally criminal activity, so this is not going to be useful for me. We've insured unusually expressive eyebrows, outrageous statements, disastrous marriages. Oh no, this is sexy. Disastrous marriages, tell me more! Those are mostly for top-rungers in Byzantium who have a lot of social and financial capital wrapped up in their marriage contracts. There's one for your beloved eloping with your sibling, your beloved eloping with their sibling, scandalous rumors forcing you apart, the revelation of a secret love child. We try to cover every possible hazard to domestic bliss. Oh, that's absolutely lovely right there. And ooh, outrageous statements such as what? That policy is almost exclusively for our corporate clientele. In the unlikely event they make a claim about a product that turns out to be less than accurate, they need some kind of protection against the damage to their sales and reputation. Ah, I see. Corporate nightmare. Got it. And sadly, I can't actually take out a policy. That's a shame. Which leaves just one place. Malin's House of Hospitality and Catherine. Probably about time we said hello to her, given we've said hello to pretty much literally everyone else in the galaxy first. Also, it's flipping Niles. I ran into him earlier. He was the dick who tried to stop me getting to uh, Kamata. That was her name. Hey there, exterminator. Glad you showed up to take care of those mantis swarms. Hate those fucking things. Fair enough. Nice to see you here, my good man. Now, can I just go through to Catherine? Yes, me and you need to have a nice chat. Uh huh. You blind little bird, or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Oh. She just... Uh, just comes and says whatever's on her mind, huh? Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. Okay, so, nice to meet you, and apparently, I've got enough charm to actually... That doesn't seem like a charming thing to say. Maybe we don't say that. Look. I'm John. I'm actually here on business. I'll be sure to remember that, little bird. Want to tell me what you need? Well, I'm half listening. There we go. I just got some reputation there. So, 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 so. The boss sent me. And no, I'm not going to call her an oath. That's a very, very bad idea. And, uh, yeah, your supply runners. Found him in a cave. I'll presume you mean Arthur. The one you sent scurrying back like a sprat with his tail cut off. Reckon I'm happy he's alive. I'd be happier if the marauders who botched my drop were dead. Alright, absolutely marvellous. And uh, what else do we need here? Yeah, the drug running problem. Funny you don't look like Nelson Mason. Funnier still, I wasn't aware of an existing problem. And I'm happy to turn him in because he was a dick to me. So yeah, he was trying to cut costs and just basically pocket the difference himself. That thunderhead. Can't hardly fathom how that panned out. Let me guess, it involved blood and guts and fur in places that don't merit mention. Well, you got my begrudging gratitude for cleaning the mess. Alright, job done there, marvellous. And yes indeed, uh, the sublight issue. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. No problem, that place is cleared out, not an issue, and yes indeed, Alta Vitae, Lilia mentioned it. 
And even better, I've got a passcode from a corpse in Stellar Bay, so we're ready to go. Found it on a corpse, huh? If you kill Lilia's agent, you get to explain it to her. Not me. Honestly, not sure how he died, but he was already dead when I got there. Well, shit. I knew he'd come to a bad end one day. Still, no time for weeping and wailing. We've got a metric fuck ton of bits worth of salvage just waiting for extraction. And yes indeed, how are we actually going to make this work? Because I know it's very dangerous and only really for laps. So you got a brain on them shoulders. Excellent. Makes my life a world easier. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Oh, that does not sound safe, but... Alright, fine, we'll get it done. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through, or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? Honestly, already taken care of, not a problem in the slightest. And I do have Nyoka, Hard and Hunter with me, to help out. And will again. We ought to be taking any opportunity we get to bury those critters in lead. Direct and aggressive. I always did like your sensibilities. You know when to strike, and when to wait. Shame what came of your crew. Crews are for ships. They were a family. Close enough. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Don't worry about that. I have got plenty of engineering skill. And yeah, if need be, Parvati can do it. Load vapors into a liquid propellant tank? I, I think I know how to do that. N no, I can do that. I think. Yes. Mostly? Definitely. Dandy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. On the terminal, use the passcode you got from Stellar Bay to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Oh, I won't say no. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Alright, already yours. Factory only dead. Workers cleared out. <laughs> that a damn fact. Well, color me impressed. Got a lot of folk killing for me, but it ain't usually before I asked. The order makes it more of a favor. But I don't care to owe debts. So you'll be taking this. Alright, marvellous. Don't need a room, so looks like we're done here for the time being. And that gets me a special helmet, 25 damage to creatures, but level 15 base, 20 armor. Pretty poor, really. Not sure I'll be bothering with that one. So, over to Cascadia. There's only one major location we haven't visited aside from Devil's Peak itself. And that is a secret lab. Oh, I do enjoy a secret lab. Because that probably means, like, you know, a proper dungeon and stuff. So, yeah, let's go over there right now. Though... The secret lab is located under a sugary drinks factory, which is uh, suspicious. It must be said, somewhat suspicious. Like, yeah, Rizzo's was developing something in secret that they probably shouldn't have been developing. Here we go. Terminal right here. So, what do we need to do precisely? There we go. Password. And now, elevator. Secure door. Does anyone know where the secure door is? Here we go, back here behind the bar. So, one elevator, everyone inside it. Ooh, secret laboratory. And here we go, Rizzo's secret lab. So, yeah, 
This was just a drinks factory, yet they're sitting on Alta Vitae gas that's incredibly dangerous, incredibly explosive, diddly diddly dee. I feel like, yeah, there's something dubious going on down here. Okay, so here's interesting. That'll be us over there, and then, yeah. It's all a bit of a big U. There's some stuff over here, including what looks, yeah, very much like cells. And then another elevator, maybe to another floor, maybe to a secret locked building, uh, back in town. So, uh, okay. Let's just start, yeah, having a bit of a loopsy round here. Figuring out what's sealed and what isn't. But... Yeah, apparently we've got ourselves... Can we crack that? Yes, we can just about crack that. Good, good, good. So I'm guessing normally you need to go track down a key. Don't need any of that business. Instead, what do we have here? Signal Ada to land on the Cascadia pad. Good, good. Could have done that already while I was at the pad, but whatever. Next up, set up a link to the refueling system. So, okay, search for fuel controls. And closest terminal with refueling authorization is located above the flavor R&D lab. Gotcha. And in the messages, yeah, sounds like I may be right here because this is all a bit secret for the development of sugary drinks. Names are redacted. You will not see me, but I will be close. Continue your research, doctor. Report to me when you've achieved a mission at end state. Okay, working from the shadows, etc, etc. Something definitely was going on here that's a bit untoward. I can promise you our research will lead to a better Halcyon, even if we have to pay a terrible cost getting there. Right, now I'm suspicious actually, they were just trying to develop a nicer drink, but they're being very dramatic about it. But we'll see, that's almost a bit too easy. You have your orders, Doctor, your project is too important, too sensitive to allow any hint of it to reach the public. With all respect, I urge to reconsider your decision to classify a research result on the native fauna of Terra Warner. I assure you that we will diligently redact any references to our project or its purpose from any papers we release. We've made several discoveries about how the terraforming process affected the nuclein of the Raptodonomanti families, at the very least allow us to inform our fellow board researchers that these creatures will perish when O2 concentrations are reduced to 19.5%, a level within human tolerance. Right, so... I see. They accidentally caused a massive explosion in the population of vicious creatures by terraforming this place a bit sloppily, and while they could fix it, that would lead to them admitting they caused it in the first place. So, okay. I really hope there's something I can do with that information, because, yeah, basically, that would just fix Monarch. Captain, a touchdown on Cascadia's landing pad. You'll need to connect the storage tank to my fueling system, and then initiate the transfer from an authorized that's all right, Ada. We know where to go. We know what we're doing. So ultimately heading in that direction, but hang on. We haven't actually explored everything over here just yet. So we got ourselves vending machines, more officers and all. Proximity alert. Biology human. Protocol kill all plants. Suspended. Present your Rizzo identification credentials or prepare to be downsized. Okay, so disengage your security protocols, please. Attempting to disengage security protocols without proper authorization is a fireable offense. Priming weapons. Oh dear. And uh, I don't actually quite have the lie to pull this off. Um, can I put my... No, I can't just put my hat on mid-conversation. And uh, please unprime weapons. Weapons primed. Engaging. Okay, well, you know what? This is fine in its own way, because now, now we can actually aim for its weak spot. Just for once, we're going to aim for the weak spot. Yeah, that's right. I know where the weak spot is. Not on this thing, mine. This thing doesn't appear to have a, a blue glowy thing. Maybe that's the blue glowy thing. You know what? I think it's going to die regardless. And Oh, you're not actually dead yet. I'm sure you will be momentarily. Well done, Nyoka. And that just leads into this room. So, okay, I can just bypass those robots if I just have a good enough hack. Gotcha. But, bear in mind, uh, the robots may now be, uh, you know, awake. So, be aware. We've definitely got red on the compass now. Looks like we're going into, yeah, corridor with a couple of side rooms off it. So, be ready for the possibility of... Oh, aha. We got mantids, uh, not robots on this occasion. Alright, so check the side rooms. That's just... Okay. Bunch of dead mant pillars. 
and Robot. So yeah, aftermath of a bit of a fight. And just be ready to deal with some Mantid. So Plasma away, Shotgun out. Don't go through any of these doors here just yet. And by the way, we can get in here. That's not a problem. Yep, just a free pile of stuff. Everyone loves a free pile of stuff. Alright, be ready for... No trouble just yet. Watch your step, Captain. Ow! Traps all over. Okay, that would have been a good thing to mention before I walked into range of the trap. Okay, couple of little concussion mines darted about. Nothing too major. Yeah, some of them are a little bit in the way of any of this business. Take all that stuff. We can sell it down the line. Okay, further and further, deeper and deeper in. You can get around that stuff, no problem whatsoever. That's just a jump over and a hide under, because lasers are incredibly easy to get around. Uh, we've also got locked door there. Hang on, check the map. So, uh, I'm guessing that might lead to... Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's no way to bypass this room, unless there's like a secret vent that's not on the map or something. But yeah, if we want to get over to here, which we almost certainly do, we're going to be needing to go through the room with the mantids. Not a problem, mine. This appears to just be... A cupboard, actually. Ooh. A hundred. Well, lardy flipping da. And there's also a thing up there. Oh, if I just shoot that. Okay, so as it turns out, yeah, traps. Very easy to take care of. Now, can you idiots figure out how to jump over a thing? Can you figure it out? Can you figure it out? And the answer is no. No, that's much too complicated. Okay, if I just turn my back on you for a second... Yep, one of you's figured it out, and again, just a little bit further, and now, there we go, they just teleport to you if need be. And I think we've got some trouble here. That's all absolutely a-okay. Oh, mechanical guardian. Okay, I'm just going to sneak up on you with this thing, and then I'm just going to shoot you in the... Where's the blue bit? Where's the blue bit? Where's the blue bit? There's the blue bit. There's the blue bit! And whoop! That'll take you out, my good man. Screw you. Someone else distract it. I'll get around the back of it and shoot in the arse. And it's gonna be dead. I love this thing. This just basically makes mince meat out of robots. Oh, we got ourselves a bit of a problem here. So, okay. Gas in this hallway. Dangerous. Be careful with gas in this hallway. Then again, where does this hallway actually go? That just leads up to... Aha! The far side of the very hard locked door. So that just lets you bypass this area. Gotcha. So, actually, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't need to bother sneaking my way through the gas corridor. Because if I just, yeah, loop around here, then loop around here, then back this way, then just take a right here. Aha, bard, I see. Okay, steam fire corridor, or alternatively, lockpick of 100. Gotcha. Okay, stay away, stay down, stay to the left, and then that one is permanently... Oh, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, just, just keep... Keep on keeping on. Right, you guys are on fire too. Well done. Hopefully you'll just, like, teleport over to me. Now we can get that bar up. Now we've completed the loop. Well done, making it through the flame room. Can we open this from the inside? No, no, we cannot. And also... 73. Why am I only 73 now? Oh, probably because I'm concussed. Right, so, just yeah, break all of that down, grab all of this. Okay, what does this thing do? Cap, we can use this ventilation system to solve our bug problem. Aha, intriguing. Manosaurs need an oxygen-rich environment, more than we do. We drop the oxygen levels a bit, we can suffocate them. Here, see? Done. Won't be but a minute before they're all rolling around, desperately trying to figure out why they're dying and why they can't stop it. Okay, any chance we can do that on, like, you know, a planetary level? The more you study your prey, the less chance they surprise you. And I hate surprises. Okay, so apparently she didn't learn that from the terminal, she just knew that. So, if we know how to defeat Mantisaurs by lowering the oxygen level, and we've got terraforming equipment... Okay, I really feel like you guys should have done this on, yeah, a big scale a long time ago. There we go, lockpick back at 80. So, okay, concussion when you get a bit shocked or hit in the head or whatever, that does actually, yeah, slow you down a bit in terms of some of your mind abilities, which makes sense, absolutely. 
So now my little Manti friends should all already be dead, though to be honest they were hanging out in a room full of explosive barrels, so it wouldn't have been a massive problem regardless, and... Okay, you are dead, you're just like, you know, jiggling a bit regardless. So, Rizzo's, Rizzo's, more Rizzo's, I'm guessing just like, I don't know, flavouring gas or something, but... What's going on here and why is it so, you know, sinister? Here we go. The unreliable. So we can align the fueling systems. Great. Let's get that done. That's perfect. And transfer the Alta Vitae gas. But why was it... Why was it here? Ooh. Okay. This terminal can't do that. Need the Executive Research Focus Group terminal. Here we go, logs. So what were you guys actually doing here? Okay, something to do with animal trials using the cysty pigs at the nearby factory. But no details as to what he was actually doing with those animal trials. All we know is, yeah, they were using cysty pigs and whatever it was, it was more complicated than making bacon flavoured tumours. Well, only one way to go, onwards to this little side of the area, so... Uh, no sign of trouble as yet, but... Keep an eye out for more terminals, because, yeah... Something uh, dubious and very secret was going on here. Ooh, so, um, there appears to be a human being held in isolation inside. Right, hello there. What's going on? Dr. Thomas Linwood Ryle, in gratitude. Then five names. Okay, what's all of this? You didn't have to go this far to get out of paying that bad bet on the Darlings. I mean, you gave me six years to pay you back for last year's championships. I told you you were right. I had you back. We could have drawn straws or something. But you went off and did it and you didn't even tell me. This shouldn't have happened. You earned better. Gotta admit, I ain't got a lot of sympathy for someone willing to experiment on themselves. Or any person, really. Okay, but do we know that's what this was? Self-experimentation? We haven't actually seen much evidence pointing in that direction yet. I'd like to think you'd be happy about the data I recovered. These days I'm mostly thinking about how you should still be with us, and we should have had more support from the board. No one should have ever needed to take such a crazy, stupid, brave risk. I don't know if your folks will ever see you, but I made sure you were all tidy. Small stitches, Eva put you in your best suit, did it herself alone, said she owed you. Okay. What an awful brave thing to do. And look how loved he was for it. We don't actually know what he did yet, Parvati. All we know is he's dead and apparently, yeah, this is like not an experiment so much as uh, just a way of uh, preserving him or something. You are an excellent chimerist and a credit to our team. Upon our return to Byzantium, I'll have to file the copyrights for our work made in your name. The companies will own them, but your name will be on every legal filing. People see it and perhaps think of you. So, okay, what is... What is going on here? Everyone here knows what we're up against and how long we have. You knew better than anyone. The way you talked about the lives we forgot in passing. The dock worker who kept a red handkerchief in one of her pockets. And you wondered why. The server at the bar trying to read a book on the sly until our order was up. And you wondered what it was. The worker who swept the roads, but when she found a dead sprat, stopped to bury it. Okay. So, no one's explaining what actually happened to this individual, aside from the fact they died in the line of duty. Everyone was really flipping grateful. And now they've just been preserved here because the body couldn't be removed for some reason. Okay. Keep on keeping on here because, yeah, we've got a mysterious... Mysterious hole. This might well be the entry point that the mantids came in through. Gotcha. Here we go. Research notes on tissue compatibility. Chief concern is rejection of the tissue, a problem as classical as limb transplantation, though obviously on a cellular level. The scale of the problem, though, even with the Alta Vitae bolstering our efforts, an achievement of such proportion has never been attempted or even considered. How do we define tolerable failure when the losses could swell to affect millions? Even 1% is unthinkable. So, okay, tissue rejection. So something to do with changing people, but on a cellular level, and the outer vitae was helping in some capacity. Okay, and this is obviously universal defense logistics. So uh, some form of gas they could release on a planet that might affect everybody. 
but potentially it went wrong and yeah, it wasn't just the oxygen. They created all of the terrifying monstrous creatures floating around on this planet. But in doing so, they were presumably trying to, I don't know, find a way to turn people to be hardier or something. You know, the old super mutant issue. So, yeah, interesting. They didn't make that much progress, though. Project's been reassigned to a secondary lab, but I'm told the board's pulling out of Terra 1. We don't even have time to transfer our research. For once, I'm grateful our labours didn't make significant strides. I won't forget Tom's sacrifice. Up until the end, he knew it had to happen. If it wasn't one of us, the board would have volunteered inmates from Tartarus. So, okay. They were trying to do something to change people and they volunteered rather than have prisoners volunteered for them. Here we go, final terminal, lift out, but also lift shaft. Ooh, bottomless lift shaft, but can't help but notice something over there too. Hang on. I mean, I can 100% make this jump, right? Yes, yes, I can. Guys, don't try and follow me. Just leave this to me. I'm just... Yep, I'm, I'm guessing everyone's falling to their deaths right now. Please stop trying to jump over, it's fine, and jump! Okay, where on earth am I going right now? I'm going further and further and further up for some reason. Aha! Secret stuff, including- ooh! Hello, mind control ray! And that there was weapons from the void completed, so yeah, that's the last secret weapon, very nice. Okay, back to the terminal. Uh, let me take a look-see. Okay. I'm thinking, if I patch this into our fuel cell network, we can use the empty tanks to hold this ulta wada biddle stuff. I just gotta compensate for the pressure difference. We burn liquid reaction mass, not gas, and the cells are distributed all through the hull, so I gotta isolate the empties. Fortunately, I'm pretty good at engineering myself, so I can actually help out Parvati. She's not on her own on this one. Of course I did, Captain. Just gave it a little jiggle. And... Job done. Yes, good. There we are. Good as pretty and twice as new. All right. Gas has been siphoned. Marvelous. Oh, I just... just did my thing. You know. I'm impressed. I would have just tried to blow the thing up. All right. Job flipping it done. So presumably, yeah, just straight out now. Fly it over to the groundbreaker. Job done. Though we will, of course, be giving the Mind Ray a bit of a look see, because I'm guessing it, you know, turns people to be on my side. Oh, not just people, robots too. So okay, attacks allies rather than enemies, higher the science skill, the more the movement and attack rate of those that have been controlled. Oh, now that sounds hilarious. And this brings me into a locked up office. Marvelous. Crack that open. And there we go. Good, good, good. Anything else here, by the way? Yep, one little locked cell. Close that up. Help myself too. I really don't need that, actually. That's absolutely fine. Also, that does remind me, yeah, we saw a note in the bar, same place as we got the cakes, that said, hey, there's people here, but they're acting like zombies and stuff. Right. I'm guessing that might have been what happened to the original population. Tess into this gas whatever it was precisely. Generally, bad things. Bad things happens. Okay, back to Lilia. Don't seem to be on fire or exploded. Generally, job well done. Hello there, Lilia. Here's your gas. By the way, it seems to have, like, killed everybody in diddly diddly dee, so maybe be a bit careful with it. That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. 120-some cubic meters of it at a million bits a pop. Take this. You've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm going to buy a gold toilet to shit in. All right, reputation up, 20,000 XP, and uh, hopefully I get paid pretty well for this because, you know, you just mentioned solid gold toilets, so I deserve a cut because 2,000 bits. That's nothing. That's nowhere near enough for a solid gold toilet. Ooh, one more thing here. So, uh, yeah, she's also mentioning uh, the slaughterhouse. Yeah, could you just confirm that the pigs were being fed on people? Like they were hanging on to your every word. Scheming. And when you turned around, maybe they just... oinked like innocent little idiots? No. No, that sounds a bit on the insane side, actually. Why'd you say that? 
I'm probably getting worked up over nothing. Just try not to think about pigs. You never know, you know? Okay, so, Lilia, are you doing okay there? I've got a lot on my mind, but it's nothing that concerns you. At least, not yet. I have another job lined up, assuming you're still interested in work. They're gonna salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? How big we talking? Not like Groundbreaker big, right? This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. Oh, go on then, sure. But, yeah, when did it become salvage? Or is it salvage? Because I know sometimes you guys just move in before something's been abandoned in order to, like, you know, pre-strip it down. Which can be a little bit on the, uh, yeah, dangerous side if someone's already occupying it. Right now, it's only salvage on paper. Systems and comms have gone dark. Poke around if you're curious why. While the board lets 1084 gather dust, you're gonna swoop in and plant Sublight's flag. Perfectly legit, perfectly legal. Aha, there might still be survivors on board. Well, let's go check it out, see if we run into anybody and who we want to help. Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. Okay, who are we worried about here? Both. Neither. Right now, it's safer if I keep you in the dark. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in, but right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. Ooh, we're going to have ourselves a choice sooner or later, aren't we? Another faction is going to say, take her out, and you get yourself a big pile of money or something. Question is, who's going to be the person who's going to ask me to do it? And am I willing to potentially say yes? Because I've got no love for Lilia. She's fine, but uh, yeah, someone makes me a better offer. I'd consider it. Now, I'm guessing we're going into automated security here, so there's actually something I wanted to try out. We got ourselves, yeah, some nice big heavy machine guns here. I'm going to grab one of those uh, and do a quick bit of tinkering and modification to it, because, uh, yeah, the one problem I've got with my build right now is, uh, yeah, I've got myself science weapons up front that use energy. Then I've got my shotgun on light. Then I've got my plasma sniper on energy. Then my great big energy flamethrower that's also on energy. So I'm burning through energy a little bit on the fast side there. So uh, what I'd like to do is replace this thing with some other form of anti-robot weapon. And I feel like actually that massive great thing I just got out could be very, very useful for that. Okay, whack it up to a capped level 28. So 154 damage, really high DPS, not bad at all. And now modify it to do uh, shock damage, together with no need to do silence. Yeah, we could do uh, critical damage right there. So yeah, now this thing has a nice solid rate of fire and hits pretty- oh blimey. Okay, it's a little bit on the inaccurate side, but it does basically the same job as far as I can tell, except using heavy ammo, which I'm basically not using right now, so I'm just sitting on thousands of it. So that strikes me as potentially a good idea. We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. Alright, not huge, looks, yeah, pretty small, same size as places we've been into before. So, okay, let's just head on board, see what we got here. And go on, Felix can come along so we're properly colour coordinated. Alright, here we go, and, aha, layout looks very similar to where we've been before, but restricted access. Does that mean disguises? All right, mechanical sentry, as I would have suspected, but apparently it's very, very cold. Now, what are we actually trying to do here precisely? So, all right, I've got an override cartridge, just got to plug it in. Check the map here and, uh, okay, this place is apparently tiny. Though there's, yeah, two floors, but nothing major to it, really. And 
beyond restricted, but it's not saying what disguise I need, so I'm guessing, actually, uh, no disguises at all. Okay. Security continues to be dead. I'm not seeing all. Oh, I'm seeing something. Right, so something's around here. Gotcha. And I'm guessing based on what we've seen, yeah, just be ready for robots, basically. And some of this is sealed. All right. If it's sealed, how do we get in? Aha. I see a vent around the back here. Just check the walls for... There we flipping go. Gotcha. So, into a little back room here. Unseal the door if we can. No. Terminal power below 5%. Need to restore the power supply before we can really do uh, anything, as it turns out. Can, however, crack open some safes. Love it. And that gives me a blank UDL keycard. Aha. I'm guessing we're plugging in keycards, uh, converting them into useful keycards with terminals, diddly diddly d. Right, well, back into the shaft here, because, yeah, I also saw there was a ladder. So that gets me up to... Uh, Somewhere. Okay. Just higher floor. Scientist. Definitely dead, absolutely. Together with uh, Hunting Rifle Ultra. Never turn down something called Ultra. Something called Ultra is probably going to be pretty on the good side. In fact, hang on. Let's just check that. Just see if it's actually uh, really good. So that was just, that was just level 18. That's not spectacular. Get rid of that. This is uh, 17, but... 163 at 17. That's... That's not terrible. Might just keep that in case we want it in future. Okay, everybody down on the ground and... Uh, I'm seeing trouble. More sealed doors and... Uh, also, one tiny door over here. Oh! Alright, guys. We got ourselves mines. Be ready for trouble. Loose lips, pink slips. Alright. Can't get through here. Ah, but I can see what's going on, including... Let's give these little fellas a wide berth, Captain. Honestly, I think we can handle it, but you're right. If we can, let's just turn them off. No. With no power, can't do a thing. Right, in which case, just head downstairs, sneak as far as we can, and things a little bit on the inaccurate side, but what have you. Yeah, we've just basically got to make our way to the... Oh. We've just got to make our way to the... There we go, sooner or later. Just going to make our way to the terminal. And I was a little bit too close there. Slightly upset my own brain. Ah, slight problem here. The doors are sealed for the time being. So, okay. Need to find a way through when I can't actually... Oh. That's a person inside a tube. Right. So, uh... We might possibly be dealing with the same sort of sinister research as we were a second ago. Yes. Now, uh, there's an office there. But we know there's nothing we can do in an office until we've got the power to open the door. So, uh, how are we going to get through? And, oh. Well, I see potentially some under stuff under the floor. Here we go. Back in the main room. And on the far side, uh, we got some more space we can go. And... This is really not the right gun for taking out mines. Okay, so sneaking down the other side now. And this is, aha, this might be better. Another sealed door. But this might be the right terminal to restore the power. Yes, this looks like a power terminal to me. Modified generator mode normal. Seems pretty bloody good. So activating everything. There we go. We got ourselves power. But what happened here? Sensors indicate out of Vitae gas is leaking from storage tanks. Yeah, it's all about out of Vitae. So, uh, yeah, bad things. Humans in tubes. Diddly diddly day. Captain, I've been attempting to contact you with urgent news. However, communicational functionality was impaired due to the power outage. Oh dear, is it flipping out of Vitae gas by any chance? A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop. I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. So glad we finally have this opportunity. My ship is docked with 1084. There's no escape. 
Okay, um, why are you trying to catch me? Because if you're UDL, I'm not sure I've really done much against the UDL, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, you might have the wrong gal here. I think not. The refueling system at Cascadia's landing pad logged your ship ID. You've been poking your nose into restricted locations. This makes my superiors unhappy. I could peel your ship open like a can of forest. But I'm in a sporting mood. Okay, so, yeah, we could actually, oh, blimey. So if I had myself a hat on right now, I could totally intimidate or lie to her, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I can't because I didn't know I was going to be speaking to anyone because I thought I was just doing engineering work with robots. So, uh, okay, in that case, you won't take me alive, UDL. I assure you that was never my intention. See you soon, Captain. The UDL gunship remains docked at the station. They must intend to board with a full squad of troops. Don't waste your breath negotiating with these board types, boss. Um, well, I would have done, but I kind of didn't have an option. Right, if I can get myself an ID card, we might be able to sneak out of here. Anything else we can do here? No, nothing new right there. Okay, what about the robots? We might be able to get the robots on our side. Alright, I see new things showing up here. And... Right, they've got robots. There I was, hoping we wouldn't have to hurt anybody. Yeah, me too, but I didn't realise we'd be negotiating, so I wasn't wearing my negotiation hat. Sorry about that, Parvati. Guess we're going to have to... Just deal with this as it comes up. So, uh, ah, that's still sealed. No way through, unfortunately. Unless, of course, I could get someone's attention. Uh, pull them this way. Because I can't see that much in here. There's, yeah, there's like two. Okay, maybe three. So, okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If I could just get your attention for a second. Hello over there. Yeah, come and investigate. Come and investigate. Come and investigate. Stay down. Let them come over here. Just let them wander away from the rest of the group. If we're lucky, we might be able to just get them down momentarily. So, boom. Right, so now, line them up. And if we're very lucky, this will be an instant kill. And no one will actually hear it. And dead. Okay, I think everyone else heard it. And also, oh yeah, you guys are set to aggressive, aren't you? No, back off. Back off, guys. Guys, fall back. Guys, seriously, fall back. Because if we can just let them get bored... They've totally just seen the body. Just stay back over here, guys. Stay back over here. And... Oh, they're still coming. Okay, one more person might need to die. Oh, no, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we're lucky, guys. Fall back. Fall back. Get behind the door, guys. Get behind the door. If that person gets bored, we might be able to get our disguise with a single death. And they get bored and wander off. Parvati, you were standing right there, weren't you? That's it's not helpful. Okay. They're now going to return to their post, which is really, really useful. And that person's dead right there. Which is also really, really useful because... Okay, this person didn't have an ID card on them. But they do have level 20 ultra assault rifles. Which is good, because I can give those to the rest of my team. Now, by any chance, by any flipping chance, could I actually persuade... Oh, corporate commander over there. Hello over there. I'm just going to... Yeah, just going to basically turn that person into a friend. For the time being. So, is that going to... No, guys. Guys, don't do not do that. Why are you shooting my friend and... Well, he's dead now. Okay, the board reputation decreased. They started it. Okay, try and get this guy on board if we can. Yeah, that's right. And he's now going to be on my side, is he? Yes, yes he is. And you as well. You are also going to be on my side. Go and shoot your friends. And this is this is a bit on the messy side, to be honest. But it's it's sort of working. Okay, maybe we just get out the giant doom cannon. Yes, it's giant doom cannon time. Giant doom cannon. Giant doom cannon. 
Yes, the giant doom cannon's working very well. Especially as I get health back for murdering them. Oh, oh, ow, ow, ow. Excuse me. No, you flippin' don't. Okay, giant doom cannon's pretty effective, yes. Do any of you have, like, disguises on you? No, no you don't. So, I'm definitely, definitely... The board is now off-put. Okay, fair enough. Um, I was hoping for a, for a bit of a disguise here. Okay, trooper, robots. What happened to that commander? Where did he drop? And even the commander does not have ID on him. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Right, let's see what else we can do, though. Now we've got access to, like, terminals and stuff. Yeah, there's more of them down there, but terminals, terminals, and more terminals. Hack of 65 would get the auto mechanicals down. Now, hack is, uh, yeah, that's a stealth skill. I don't think I can boost my stealth to 65. Yeah, it's 50 right now, though. Then again, then again, then again, then again. Hang the flip on here. I've got doubled benefits here. So if I put that on, that's up to, uh, that's up to 60. Can I boost by another... I can't boost by another five. I'm not sure I'll be able to. Hang on. See if I can eat enough food to make that happen. Yes, I just can. With the hiking gear for plus ten and a caffeine drink for plus five, we can actually get the robots dismissed. Beautiful. So back to your recharge positions, please. And here's interesting. So yeah, the testing that was going on. You gave those PhDs tanks of nuclein scrambling gas and no warm bodies to test it on. What did you think would happen? They can test on each other all they want, but no one lays a hand on my squad. I'm installing safeguards in case anyone challenges that decree. Okay, whatever that safeguard is, we want to be turning that on. Okay, back to the terminal I saw at the beginning. So yeah, the keycard I picked up. Could you please... Uh, encode it. So I've lost the blank keycard, and instead that's become some form of good keycard. Electrical control room keycard. Marvellous. And here we go. Note on Chief Kimball. She said that if anything happened to her, her password was her daughter's name. Now I'm pretty sure I just saw that on the other machine. It was Jessica, Angelica. I'll go and check the other machine, but she wrote it in a message on the other terminal. Note on James Guthrie, James is gone and he never said goodbye. I keep telling myself he wanted me to remember him as he was outside the tank. Or maybe he was just bad at goodbyes. When I saw what was left of him, I wanted to airlock everyone who let it happen. You could have said something, James. We were never short on time. Yeah. So, uh, every time they do experiments with the Alta Vitae, it seems to involve scientists ultimately performing experiments on themselves. And... Uh, not in a particularly noble way, just in the sense that, yeah, they end up doing it because they've been heavily indoctrinated to believe that's what they ought to do. Here we go. I love you, Angelica, from Mom. So, Angelica, but with a J. Okay, back down the way we came. And ideally, we want to be not murdering any more people. Step lively, Captain. The floor's got teeth. Aha. I've reactivated the electric floor. But that's fine. I've got the electrical room key card, so we can turn that off. We're in control for the time being, Parvati, but thank you for the warning. And speaking of Kimball, she wanted a UDL Electro Floor 3000 for the checkpoint and a crate of concussive mines. Is she preparing for war? She's actually like she knows something the rest of us don't. Seems especially uncomfortable around the docks. Interesting. And if I want to, with a hack of 40, I can turn it back on again. Though, hang on. That reminds me. I should put, like, you know, my good armor back on. That would definitely be a good idea. But yeah, if I want to, I could actually lead security back in here and then reactivate that. Now. Now, 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 now. We've taken care of the robots. Are there any actual security troops left here? Because I'm not sure there are. I think, actually, we're okay. So, all right. Loot the place before we go any further. Okay, robots taken care of. They've been dismissed. This guy, James Guthrie, just chilling out. Fair enough. Now, no sign of any more people. What's all of this, though? Subject, Dr. Claire Pearsall. Alive, unstable, Active. Subject's condition is dire. Make sure resuscitation devices are on hand upon revival. Please hold on, Claire. We almost had it this time, I swear. We'll bring you back. Okay. 
holding tank two. But there only appears to be... Ah, sorry, you up there. So that is a scientist in a holding tank. And you, we know who you are. You're James, I assume. Yep, James, alive, extremely unstable. Subject will need extensive nuclear resequencing for any chance of viable extraction. I'm so sorry it ended up like this, James. We will come back for you and fix this. I swear on it. So, maybe this wasn't the experiment. Maybe this was just the only way to keep them alive after the experiment they did on themselves horribly failed. And number three, Charles McNulty. Alive, unstable, subject should not be revived until a method for stabilising his condition is found. Okay, so actually, based on, yeah, the order and who's here, we can figure out what order this happened in. So, uh, he was put in first because James and Claire both signed the order. Claire was next, James signed the order, the other two didn't. And then finally, James himself, leaving only two doctors. Please forgive us. So yeah, the science crew basically performed experiments on themselves uh, over and over again until there were only two left. At which point I'm guessing uh, they either lost their nerve or they just said, screw this business, we're off. So, alright, that's a shortcut back to the beginning right there. Looks like, yeah, the troopers are dead. But at least we spared the robots. I think we can all agree, ooh, 95 out of 100, darn it. We can't quite get into that side room. That's such a shame. Hack of 65, however, would get me in there. So we know we can do that. Hang on. Just need to drink some water and put on the right gear. There we go. Door has been opened. Lovely. And project summary. This is what I want to know. Further, the chimeric sciences via targeted modification of human nuclei using strands obtained from halcyon native fauna. Right. So... Crossbreed is a bit of a crude term, but yeah, basically uh, crossbreed humans uh, with Rapsdoms. For the sake of, I don't know, creating uh, super soldiers, more hardy humans, diddly diddly d. Here we go, the three people we just saw downstairs. We almost lost Charlie, it was a runaway resequencing shift. Once it started, it kept going, spreading beyond the isolated tissue to a full-blown systemic infiltration. He said it was like every organ was itchy. I told him we'd ice him, freeze him until we could figure out how to reverse what had gone wrong. Every time Law walked by me, she rubbed my shoulders and asked me to take a different reading. They didn't need to be taken, it was just to keep my mind occupied. She's been checking on me every hour since. So okay, that was the first person that went down. Then we know Claire was next up. We had to put Claire on ice today, she and the others drew straws, Claire lost. The changes were slower this time. At first, the resequence stayed within normal parameters, but then it spread again, just like with Charlie. Tomorrow, I'm reaching out to my handler directly. I need some answers. I wonder how Guthrie's is doing. I hear symphony music from under his door. And then finally, that's James, James himself. This log is being entered by Dr. Farl. I had to prescribe Dr. Chandra and enough sedative to knock out a primal. Yesterday morning, Dr. Guthrie and I drew straws to decide which of us would be the next test subject. He pulled the shorts, Warner. No new developments after all of our sacrifices. It still feels like we're miles away from a breakthrough. Eva hasn't forgiven herself for the losses. Maybe some time away from the station will clear her mind. The board confirmed receipt of my report and transmitted our recall notice. We're just awaiting transport. I wish we could take some time away from the project to clear our heads, but we're not even close to that point. Okay, so basically, yeah, everything's a nightmare. And then one final transmission outgoing from, yeah, the one remaining scientist, the other one having been heavily sedated. Is anyone listening in? Who is this? I'm Project Lead. Station 1084, you have your orders to maintain wireless silence until a mission end state is achieved. And then he gave the password. What can I do for you? The board told me they would deliver my queries about our transcription problem on the Cornelius Vanderbilt. Where are we with that? Can't provide an update. The assault cruiser should have arrived on Earth by now. My query was addressed to the Chimeric Research Department at the George de Heefsey Institute in Budapest. One of my associates will reach out when we have an update. When aren't you in contact with the assault cruiser? What happened out there? Station 1084. Misuse of this channel is a fireable offence, as is abusing your executive override. So, uh, okay. They were supposed to be sending updates to and from Earth, but... No updates really seem to have gone through either way. What else do we have here? And yeah, 
Sadly, there's no board ID here. So had I got that from somewhere else, then... Ooh, that's... That's just a window out into space. Maybe we don't go out into space, but... Yeah, I'll be taking this. Researcher's mask. That sounds fun, but then again... Okay, it's level 1, but bleed duration 30% is... Uh, Fun at least. We'll be taking that. No, that's jumping. We will be taking that though. Not sure I'll use it, but it's always fun to have unique stuff. And don't forget, modify systems access protocols. Put the flag in for sublight. Beautiful. And no one else has actually contacted me saying, hey, do it for me instead. Aside from the board. But I hate the board. The board are dicks. So basically screw those guys. Right. Job flipping done. Sure trend. Sure trend. I've seen that name before somewhere. Cascadia, right? Yeah, I'm guessing that's one of the scientists in the secret lab, given, you know, it's also Alta Vitae gas, so... Uh, okay, might be more to do as yet. She did indicate there was one super mega secret thing yet to be done. So my board reputation is 8% positive, 32% negative. Off put, but... Yeah, not firing on me just yet. I'm neutral to the faction, though they will charge me 10% more. Shocking. Everybody else, meanwhile, absolutely cocking loves me. In fact, amazingly, I'm neutral to the Borst factory, having literally murdered its faction leader, but whatever. Also, I think we'll be coming back to the mind control ray. I'm feeling better about the gloop gun for now. Okay, back at the groundbreaker, but lesson learned. Unless I'm actively in combat, keep... The hat on under all circumstances. Just passing by Bell shells while I'm coming through as well. Yeah, something of interest here. Deadeye Assault Rifle, Mark II, comes with an Exacto sight by default. Damage 263, DPS 525, uses heavy ammo. I'm going to grab one of those right now because I can definitely afford it. I've got 24,000 bits at the minute. So, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right now, yeah, my basic plasma rifle thing, level 25, uh, that can most definitely out-damage that, especially versus organics. But, as a day-to-day -day weapon, that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. It's just, yeah, not quite as good as the plasma rifle. Though it does have the advantage, one, doesn't need to charge up every shot, two, bullets are a bit faster, but... I think I'm happier with my plasma sniper, though I'm guessing this thing has got... Hang on, check the range on that. That is effective range 100, max range 300, versus effective range, yeah, 40. So that would be better at medium range. But honestly, I'm still feeling the plasma rifle. I think that's actually pretty damn solid. But I might give that to, yeah, one of my companions. In fact, you know what? Parvati, I suspect you can have that right now. Oh yeah, she's using an Assault Rifle Ultra for the time being, which is good in terms of DPS. In fact, actually, better in terms of DPS. But you probably want more damage, just because, yeah, it's better on the old armor piercing. So, go on, Parvati. You have that. It does look pretty badass. Okay, Lilia. To confirm, I was followed. I'm aware of it, but they're all dead. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. I'm not 100% sure I trust Lilia, but I trust her more than the board and UDL at the absolute bare minimum. And uh, yeah, scientists, suspension tanks might still be alive. Please help them if you can. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security... Did you meet any resistance at the station? Absolutely, but they have been murdered. <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out already. You were using me as bait for the UDL, but yeah, also... Uh, yeah, lots of experimentation on people to, like, cross people with animals. Not fun. You have an eye for patterns. Good. We need more contractors like you. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. 
Yep, super mutants. Dear oh flipping dear. Maybe the worst. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Okay, tell me more. What's your theory? Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Sure, I can do that. What are you about to tell me? Is it more monstrous than I've already figured out? Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. I knew it. Aliens from other worlds been visiting Halcyon. At least one of your crew can keep an open mind. But this isn't some Aetherwave serial, Millstone. This is reality. Okay. So, what makes you think aliens, rather than just evil corporation performing experiments on humans? Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. This doesn't feel at all right, Captain. Damn, she's serious. Tragic, ain't it? What age does to your mental faculties? The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? Yes, this seems a bit insane, so let's just, uh, figure out what evidence you've got for this wild assertion. If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. Okay, so what the flip are you on about? Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us, make us more like those monsters on Monarch. Oh. Are you saying that Raptodons are just like mutated people? No, that wouldn't make sense, because the Raptodons were on the planet before the lab went down. Well, probably. No, because there's Raptodons on all sorts of planets. So, but then again, why would the same creature be on multiple planets if it's not spacefaring. That doesn't make her- Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna let her explain for a second. So, yeah, I haven't seen much evidence of this. Give me actual evidence here. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. I am not convinced here, so uh, I do not know what to make of this, but go on, I'll humor her. How do you know I'm not an alien spy? Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. Only your cells would know. Okay, if you're saying that the scientists are being converted at a cellular level into alien spies, then why after they were converted would they have been put into storage? Because if they were being converted, then that was what was supposed to happen. Also, we know this woman is terrified and paranoid about pigs. So, yeah, I'm not sure she's playing with a full deck here. So, just tell me what's going on here, though, to be honest, I really don't know what the hell you're on about. If you don't believe me... Go pay a visit to the Puppet Master who's working against her own kind. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species, and I need you to put a bullet through her skull. Okay, I'm glad to go and say hello to her, because I'm guessing she's got a more sensible theory. Like, I was just a corporate stooge doing a horrifying experiment, I feel really bad about it, but I might well kill her anyway. And go on then, I'm guessing you think she needs to die because she's like an alien collaborator or something. She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. Yeah, but I saw no evidence whatsoever that it was, you know, an alien thing. So yeah, what point did you decide to start protecting humanity? 
It's cute that you think that about me. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. Well, this is just absolutely bananas, but yeah, signs, wow, signs of one, but okay. Yeah, they didn't seem, well, they did seem that evil, but not like alien evil. Yeah, where does Chartran fit into this theory? We're far beyond theories. Chartran's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks, how much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board, unlimited funds, and a colony full of sheep. I have seen literally no evidence whatsoever. And yeah, the labs are evil, but not like that evil. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. Okay, I'm just going to agree to this, but I suspect Chartrand has, yeah, a different take on things. This keycard will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Okay, level 24 and also wild alien conspiracy theory. Okay, with the hat, Felix and Parvati, we've now got Persuade up to 96. So I'm going to boost that to 100, just in case a 100 speech check comes around. So uh, that will be very, very useful indeed. Other than that, though, I would not mind science going up because, yeah, plasma damage up, shock damage up, and science weapon effects going up together with... Tinkering costs for science weapons being capped. Because right now I can't really use some of the earlier science weapons because it would be too expensive to modify them. But if I got science up to 100, then I'd be able to modify all of my weapons very cheaply in the science weapons indefinitely. Which is certainly tempting. In fact, yeah, I can't think of anything else I'd rather be doing right now. So let's just actually start slamming some stuff into science. Get myself some bonuses out of plasma, shock, science, diddly diddly d. And yeah, as soon as I actually get capped costs for science weapon tinkering, we might start bringing some of those up to high levels, see how they perform if I make them a bit more elite. And you know what, let's actually go for penetrating shots here, because yeah, that means my shotgun will actually get down armor very effectively versus my targets. Now, big important question here, does this mean I can now go to Byzantium? Because if so, Parvati, it's time for me and you to go dress shopping. Nope, tragically, I've got no way to get to Byzantium yet. So, uh, until we've actually unlocked that place, nothing I can do. In which case, we may as well actually, yeah, head back to Monarch and make some progress there. Because I'm guessing Byzantium's the next world proper we're going to after we've dealt with that. And we're also going to land at Stella Bay because I need to remember to drop off Mr. What's-His-Face's data with the drug dealer who apparently wants to know about some guy from Terra 2 looking for a Manti Queen who got eaten for reasons that are not clear, but I'll gladly take the XP. Here we go, random man. Here's the journal of a guy you don't know. That's pretty sad. He sure seemed like he knew what he was doing. He used to tell the kids crazy stories about Halcyon wildlife. Later I learned most of it was wrong, but it was the thought that counted. Then one day he just disappeared. Never heard anything about him again. Anyone fool enough to chase after a queen is pretty fucking far from the know what they're doing class of people. So this journal is all he left behind? Seems like I ought to read it. Looks mighty long though. All right, so yeah, maybe you and Celia can read it together on your date. I bet she'll like that. She's real enthusiastic about all sorts of monsters. It'd be nice for there to be some good come out of this. In any case, I appreciate you tracking down Mr. Pickett for me. Here's some bits for your trouble. That was such a random quest. So yep, till we get to Byzantium, can't do that business. Till we get up to Devil's Peak, can't do any more with Nyoka. And yeah, once again, not till we get to Byzantium. So, back to the main quest, because I think we've done pretty much everything else.
So my destination is up there by the looks of it, and I'm guessing this is the terrifying mountain track I'm supposed to be going along. Right, let's head in that direction. Ah, yes, and check in with Nyoka. She's the one who knows what she's doing here. So, uh, yes, a more fun way up the mountain. Right. We can take the caverns up, but if you ain't into spelunking, there's a path a little ways north. I'd have warn you, it'll be a tough trek. Big bad's up on that hill. I'm game to hunt them if you are, but it'd be safer to stick to the caverns. Screw the cavern, we're going for the fun routes. Here we go, handful of mantis pillars and whatnot. There's the cave right there. Or we just keep following the road and go up. So let's give the high road a go. If it turns out to be a complete flipping nightmare, we can indeed just say we'll just go, you know, via the cave. But for the time being, I'll gladly just start picking up these Mansour soldiers and whatnot. And he was only very briefly suspicious there. And there's another soldier. Screw oh. Good dodge, good dodge, but only the one time, actually, and now his armor's screwed. Good, good, good. Nyoka will be finishing him off momentarily, and I believe he was actually terrified and cowering there for a second. Beautiful. This is fun, isn't it? Nice views, a little exercise and fresh air. Well, and sulfury, spory air. I love Parvati so much. Okay, so, get down here, be careful of, aha. I see Mansour soldiers and drones and whatnot. Probably best to take out the, uh, yeah, the actual soldiers first, and hopefully that will hit. Good. You're mostly dead. Charge that up. There's another soldier. Screw you. And screw you, drone, as well. Right. Now just start backing off and just start finishing you off. And you'll be dead momentarily, too. There is a swarm coming this way. Should be dead as well. Just... Yep, just keep hitting it with a flipping hammer. Sure, that's gonna fly, Nyoka. Still, seems to have done the job. Okay, nothing too major so far, but then we haven't even run into a queen yet, so uh, things are gonna get worse. Ooh. Okay, a giant pile of corpses and bones. Okay, keep on keeping on here. We need to go... Uh, how much further are we looking? So, uh, yeah, around this way... Uh, Bit of a ways, then just turn back on myself once or at the top. It's honestly not even that far. But yeah, the thing is, uh, they can actually sort of uh, sneak up on us a bit just because... Ooh, hang on. And so there's... Which science weapon have I brought with me? Ooh, I brought this with me. Okay, I'm just going to start saying this and I'm going to start making them bounce. Like just in the air. There we... Okay, that, that didn't work spectacularly well. I should have just shot them with a gun, to be perfectly honest. And there we go. You're almost dead. Get a little bit of healing going on here. I am technically... Uh-oh. Okay, so... Yeah. Um, these guys. I'm just going to blind her for a second. Then I'm going to say Nyoka. Lay down the fire. Then I'm going to say... We just want to start hitting her with a giant hammer. That should hopefully bring her down. That also gets me a little bit more in the way of this business. And I would like to maim her arms, please. There we go. She's almost dead. And the others are nowhere near as bad. In fact, that's a manti pillar right there. Not a problem. You guys are all on fire, screaming, but you seem to be okay. Right, nothing too dangerous if we just concentrate fire. Lots of corpses too, so this is a good amount of free stuff. Alright, so we're making good progress here. There's the station right there. In fact, actually... Are we about there? And where does this path go? Why is there a path going down that's... Ooh. Hello. Who are you guys and why are you here? C3 Barracks. Okay. What's C3 when it's home? Ooh, you've got a name. In fact, you've all got names. Right, well, this is exciting. Hello there. How'd you get up here? Through the caves? Nope. Actually, I just walked straight up the mountain like a badass. Good answer. I wasn't looking forward to gut-shotting you. See, the thing is, I'm with the corporate compliance crew. C3, if you will. We're mercs, and our current contract mandates that we annihilate any creatures or persons that emerge from the tunnel. Allow me to intervene. It's my job to mediate any conflicts of interest regarding C3 and third parties. All right, first things first. To make a decision in this dispute, I'm going to need to know what your role in your organization is. Okay. 
Interesting. Yeah, CEO of a company of one. A lean but efficient corporate structure. I'm impressed. Still, I gotta wonder. What are your intentions regarding Devil's Peak Station? That is why you've wandered out here, I presume? Nothing hostile. I just want to speak to somebody who's inside there. Our guidelines allow us some leeway in identifying threats to our client. Your unorthodox profession makes me think we ought to remove you from the premises permanently. However, the terms of our contract specifically targets marauders, iconoclasts, MSI operatives, and anyone deemed to hobo-like in appearance. Okay, so I'm guessing that's not me, and also, uh, who hired you precisely? As you don't appear to fit any of those categories, I'm afraid I can't quite make a call on you. Don't we, as a standing policy, provide an alternative to termination via financial restitution? Addy, our chief financial officer, could confirm, but I'm betting if you're willing to compensate us for our lost time and productivity due to this arbitration, you could pass. Aha, they want to be bribed, but persuaded 20, very, very low indeed. How about we just all get on for free? I guess we might could. There's something I like about you. Can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I'd rather have you with us than against us. All right, Lance, unless you have a final point of contention to make, I'd say she's clear to go. Nah, I'll sign the clearance form. Just... I must advise you to steer clear of Devil's Peak Station. It's teeming with marauders. Anything else you need? Hang on, I thought you were supposed to be dealing with marauders. Trying to say we didn't do our job? I'll have you know our contract was to stop any marauders coming from the caves. Didn't say nothing about the ones taking the mountain path. We'll simply clear them out later, once we've got the go-ahead from Berthold. Okay, what's a Berthold? That's right. Berthold Fox is our boss man, founder, president, and CEO. Bertie went down into the caves on a hunt for marauders, give or take, six hours ago. He's a hands-on type. Likes to handle the tougher tasks himself. Although, he should have been back. Going on six hours now. I'd ask you to check the caves for him, but then we'd have to kill you when you crawl back out. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm potentially willing to go and help him out, so uh, how about you make me an honorary member? Done. Use this. Signal's locked to Birdie's tracker. Should lead you right to him. Or his body. Whatever you find. Bring him back to us, okay? Alright, Mandibles of Doom. From the mission title, I'm gonna be honest, doesn't sound good for him. And yeah, tell me, who's the client? The guy calls himself the Information Broker, like he's starring one of those fancy broadcast productions the station puts out. My guess is, he brokers information. Don, I don't care if the guy's name is the architect himself so long as we get paid well and paid on time. No dispute here. I'm gonna be honest, he's probably not paying you, given, you know, marauders have overrun the station, that he's in. So these guys work for the information broker I'm after, it's just that, yeah, they're idiots, and terrible at their jobs. And we got something with a unique name here, Thunder. Okay, what's a Thunder when it's at home? That is, uh, alright, basic assault rifle of some description, but comes with free shock damage, so uh, nothing too dramatic to be honest, but... Damage 72 DPS 557 for level 15 is not terrible. I mean, this old girl's a damage 185 DPS 1540 at level 28, and that's a massive heavy machine gun. So, okay, might keep an eye on the thunder. Could be useful once it gets cheaper to tinker with weapons. Aha, I see how this all fits together. So remember, ages ago, we got down to an area with a bunch of stuff where there was, yeah, a massive drop down. Here it is. But here we've also got ourselves uh, the Hammer of Olympus. More special named stuff. And yeah, if I just head back this way, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm almost at the station. Just take a right here. We're almost at the top. And uh, there we go. That's the front of the station. There it is. So let's not go in there just yet. Let's instead focus on, uh, yeah, the caves. Finding this guy. And also uh, that weapon. Uh, 
How good is that right there? So level 17, 200 is not terrible. Not terrible at all. I tell you what, Parvati, it's pretty fancy. You can have one of them. Here we go. Loop back on myself here. I think I've actually come around to the uh, the other side. Uh, and yeah, this place is a little bit of a maze, but here we go. So this will be the top of the caverns. We would have gone through otherwise. But as we're coming in from the top, hopefully, it'll be a nice quick journey. And oh, this place is a bit on the pretty side. Ah, mushroom spores. We've seen these floating around before. So, what are we looking at here? One Manta Queen and... Uh, there's our target over there. We might be able to just sneak in and out without trouble. Yeah, here we go. If I just actually follow this area around, then take a left, we can avoid the queen. No need to fight the queen for no reason. May as well just get the guy, his transponder or whatever, and then get the flip out. Though, there might be something in here. I'm hearing noise, but I'm, aha, I'm seeing a tiny, tiny something on the compass. Aha, we do indeed have ourselves uh, him. So, one, oh, Mega Manta Queen. Oh, that's going to be fun. Right, so, uh, just, okay, blind it as a starting point. And did I just miss? No, I did not just miss. Next up, maim its arms. Okay, next, throw literally all of our abilities at it, including Parvati's, because that will get me some of my Vats meter back. And straight in there, please. And now it is... Oh, now it's down on the ground. Okay, Mega Manticwins, it turns out. Not actually that bad. Everyone else appears to be dead, unfortunately, but that's fine. Free stuff for me. He jumps down. I help myself to the rest of the ammo. You're very welcome. That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's her torso. And better be your legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Berthold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking, please don't see me, oh la, I don't want to die, nah nah nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. He's not flipping wrong. And yes indeed, I've actually been deputized by your underlings, so this wasn't even a breach of corporate law. Means they're still holding the post then, good. You might head on back. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way. Once I've gathered up Constance's parts. Alright, hopefully I've just made myself some friends here. Flippin' lovely. Now, straight back out the way we came in. Though, honestly, I will say, kind of feels like, yeah, the caves are no more safe than the actual path outside, but whatever. Alright, guys, everybody rescue diddly diddly dee. And hopefully now, you want to be friends. Hey, Mana Queen Slayer. Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. Alright, so yeah. Tell me more. You seem to be in charge, so maybe you can give me a bit more detail. We were hired to do so. Why else? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the broker, and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns, including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. All right, so, interesting, but he's not really willing to tell me much more than I already know. And, uh, how about you help me deal with the marauders? You drive a hard bargain, Manic Queen Slayer. It don't make much financial sense for C3 to expend resources on any killing beyond the contract stipulations. As the marauders didn't enter from the caves, the requirements are mm, murky. At the same time, we do want to keep our client alive. Until the payment's cleared. 
I really doubt there'll be a payment unless, you know, you actually bloody help out. We recommended the client safeguard himself, so I don't expect that the main doors will be accessible. Find a way to open them, and we'll clear any hostels on the inside. I'd best radio ahead for Joy and Hudson to prep for us. They'll be at the station entrance, ready with our finest auto mechanicals to assist you. C3s, prepare to move out. Alright, I've got myself a bit of extra firepower, love it. And on top of that, we got ourselves some free stuff here. Though honestly, it's not spectacular. I'll just break most of this down for bits. So, take out the front door. They're willing to come and assist. And hello over there. I see myself one Marauder Ringleader. Bit high up to be honest, so this is beyond my best range. But, I'll give it a go and never mind. Very much on the dead side, actually. And no one heard that. Too far away for anyone to know. Good. Good, 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 good. Marauder Vandal's over there. That's just, I think, the exit to, uh, yeah, the actual cave system. All right, we want to take out all of you guys uh, first. All right, that's a nice, easy pick-off right there. Robot's a bit on the suspicious side, but doesn't know where to go. And excuse me, one little bit of plasma at you if we are lucky. That should be enough to finish him off. Okay, anyone else other than the robot interested? Because once everyone else is dead, we can just get in there with the electro zappy thing. And hang on, I don't have the electro zappy thing anymore. Right, open fire on the robot. And yeah, good luck with this. Oh, oh dear. Oh, flipping dear. Oh, you didn't enjoy that one little bit, did you? No, you did not. Right, everybody just rush in with mega guns. And uh oh. Okay, there's. Oh, no, no, those are mine. Those are my friends. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I've made a horrible, horrible mistake. Okay, because I accidentally declared war on my allies, I've reloaded. And everything's under control. It's all going to be absolutely fine. Okay, just got to get a little bit over here. Oh, there's, there's loads of them up top. But actually, they seem to be struggling to get over to me. Right, friends are now coming in. And I've also got a giant, giant doom gun. So we're just going to be using the giant, giant doom gun. Actually, I really don't need... Yeah, I really don't need vats for this. I feel like we can just... Uh, we can just start murdering them. Right. Do not act. No, that's Parvati. For the last time, stop murdering my own friends and screw you. Right, little bit of healing. And we got some more up there. Just clear you out. And some more for you. And some more, please. Any more, any more, any more? Nope. I think we're about done here. Lovely. One last one down on the ground over there. But I think we are about done and Nope, that was a little bit, little bit too far to fall. But we do have uh, some friends here. So that's nice. Hello there, little robot friends. Uh, I'm so sorry that in an alternative universe, I opened fire on you. I really didn't mean to. I just saw a robot and opened fire on it. Because generally, that's what you do. So, those guys are holding the front door. And I'm guessing, yeah, as soon as we actually teleport inside, uh, my four new friends will be joining me. So, uh... We have got some assistance knocking out some marauders. Absolutely flipping love it. So, that'll do for now, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we are heading inside Devil's Peak Station and figuring out what is next on our big to-do list. Because, yeah, we need to get information about where the chemicals are. And given I now have two outstanding quests telling me to go to Byzantium, I'm guessing they're going to be on Byzantium. That's where we're off to next. So... We've already done, yeah, a huge, huge amount of subquests. Hopefully, that means we're in good shape to wrap this up pretty darn quickly. Because uh, whatever it is he needs me to do, the Iconoclast love me. MSI loves me. So, uh, if there's any faction businesses is coming up, we should be able to handle that. So, we'll see how we get on with that next time. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been The Outer Worlds. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah. We have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.